So why would the godfather of surfboards go off the deep end and close a profitable business for apparently no reason? I remember reason? that day very well because it was a memo sent out. There was people walking around like, like John Lennon did die. A company called Clark Phone. He blames tighter environmental regulations and his reluctance to deal it with It turned them. into a morgue down here. Surfing? The surf industry? Pro surfers? Well, the basic take on the whole thing is cut them a check for a grand and let's get back to business. They basically force-fed people in a huge way on, on their vision of it, and most of that was based upon making a buck. If all we've ended up doing is created legions of followers, all wearing whatever we tell them to wear and all riding whatever we tell them to ride, then we've completely failed as surfers. There's this air of entitlement what we are, are we entitled to just shred and rip Mother Nature to pieces for our own benefit and for our own little whims and desires? I beg to differ. I don't think that's right. Through my window, all that I see, 13 story stream, are the souls of passing feet, 13 story stream. More importantly, it's the, the message, the paradigm shift in thinking that we're trying to achieve as a culture. If you think back 10 years, the light world was very different. Danny Hess wasn't making boards 10, 10 years ago. That whole DIY movement, like tweaking towards or bending towards uh, the environmental side is a brilliant illustration of the culture shift that's happened. Surfboards are sort of uh, surfing's dirty little secret. <laughs>